I just want to start off this video by saying I'm really sorry if you can hear my fan. It's so hot right now and as you can hear I'm kind of sick so it's making it so much worse. So I'm really sorry if the fan is annoying but I just wanted to put that in there. So today I am doing, so like I can't even remember how long ago, probably a few months. So at like the end of January I posted on my Instagram story and asked you guys for questions. Um, so pretty much today I'm just going to be answering them. It's been a couple weeks since then. Um, I just remembered actually that I had these questions. So I'm going to be answering them for you guys today. The first question is how long have you and Brayden been together? We've been together for nearly three years. But we did date when we were in high school. But we've been dating like this time around for three, almost three years. Um, we've known each other since we were like six, five, six. Um, so we pretty much grew up together, so um, it feels like a lot longer than that, but technically dating for three years, yes. The next question is uh, five goals for the next five years. Um, this is really hard. I feel like I have a lot of goals. My main goals would be buying a house, buying a new car, um, having my YouTube become a lot more successful, having my Instagram become a lot more successful, and then I have something else which is happening on the side which I haven't told you guys about yet, which you'll find out hopefully in a few months, but that's another one of my goals. Um, someone else said, did you enjoy going to other gyms before you started at PLC? Um, kind of. I went through stages when I first started gym, yes, when I was like, I was probably like 16 or maybe younger. Um, I did, but then um, I found like I kind of, it was harder to go and then I did my comp prep and like while it was happening, yes, like obviously some days I had to drive, drag myself to the gym, but I didn't mind it, but now that I go to PLC, it's kind of opened my eyes and I've realized that this kind of training is what I should be doing. Um, because it's just a lot more enjoyable. This question is, do you think you would have accomplished your fitness goals without a trainer? No, I don't think so. Um, I'm not saying you can't, you definitely can, but he just taught me a lot. Um, and just having someone there for my comp prep that could um, reassure me when I was unsure about things, it just made all the difference in the world. The next question is, how to deal with being disappointed with the results from dieting slash training, etc. Um, it's definitely a common thing that happens, especially if you're really hard on yourself. I've even been, I've definitely gone through my own times where I'm like, this isn't doing anything at all. Um, but I think like the main thing is, you know, reassuring yourself. And even if you have someone there who can reassure you too, um, if you know that you're doing everything you're supposed to be doing, it's going to work. It's just um, the mind games we play with ourselves. If you ever need anyone else to talk to, feel free to message me. Um, but we definitely all go through that. I think it's important to remember that that's really normal. Um, but also just if you aren't doing everything you can, um, it's kind of a kick up the bum to start doing that. And if you are disappointed because you fell off the track or you aren't going the direction you wanted, then that happens to everyone and I don't think it is beneficial at all to beat yourself up too much about it because um, honestly it does happen to everyone. You should do a video on what you use to each before each eat uh, before you lost weight. Um, yeah, I, I mean I could but I ate before I lost the weight. Mm, that's not a bad idea. What I ate when I was a fat kid but not a kid <laughs> that old. Do you and your boyfriend live together? Um, we're not living in our own house. I still live with my parents, so, um, and he still lives with his. He's just kind of in like a, I guess you could call it like a granny flat type of thing. So it's not connected to his house, but he lives there. But he's been at my house like majority of the nights for the past however many months. And that happened with me as well. Like I went through a stage where I was at his house pretty much every single night. So I feel like we kind of do, um, but tech and clean art. Someone said, hey, it was just surfing and saw your page. Really appreciate it. Someone said, how on earth are you so stunning? Please put up your workout routine. Thank you so much for that. Um, but I literally get asked so much to do my workout routine and like I wouldn't be able to show you because is so different, especially now I'm a PLC, like I don't know what it's gonna be, I just show up and it's that. I mean, unless I take you guys through like a week of classes or something. I suppose I could do that. Um, someone said how the f 
you train so hard with your nails so long um i honestly you just get used to it i've had nails like i went through a period of time where i didn't have them um but before that i had them like straight for like i swear two or three years so you kind of just get used to it honestly <laughs> Someone said, do you like your school graduating RMC this year and I can't wait to finish. Did you like your school, right? Um, yes, I loved Rivermount. Um, it's definitely exciting to graduate, but sometimes I'm honestly like, want to go back mostly because of all the sport and like activities you get to do when you're there that are just all organized for you. Um, but yeah, I definitely loved my school. Someone said, do you respect your body more after what you went through to get to the bikini comp? Um, definitely. I even like towards, so the very start of my comp prep, just before that, I was just honestly thrashing my body. Like I was just putting so much food, like it was like a cheat day, but like every single day. And it wasn't, I was binging every day. Like it was so unhealthy. And like, I think about that now and I'm just like, I've also realized as well how much like my world revolved around food, which I don't think it does as much anymore. I mean, I freaking love food. I'm always gonna love food. But I mean, I used to live, now that I've figured out this whole flexible dieting thing, which I didn't do on my comp prep, but now that I figured it all out, it's like, I'm not constantly thinking about, oh, what am I gonna eat? How long do I have to wait until my cheat meal? Like all this stuff, which was just really, really unhealthy and didn't work for me and was never gonna be sustainable, if that makes sense. So I definitely have noticed a huge difference since. I said, not a question, but please post a video to YouTube of you seeing. Oh, I kind of have thought of that, but then I'm like nervous now. I feel like I used to sing a lot. I used to do, I don't know if you guys knew this, but I used to perform at restaurants. Um, and I did that and like sung all the time for ages. I did sing lessons like my whole life. But then because I honestly, for the past two years, feel like I have barely sung at all. I think I have like lost my ability to sing, honestly. So we'll see. Before getting into fitness, what was your dream job? I don't do fitness for a job. Um, it's definitely like a base of my social media stuff, but it's definitely not what I do. Um, I think for the like past few years, I've just wanted to do YouTube. So that's my main thing, but I do have that other little secret thing. I'm sorry guys, I can't tell you, but that other little thing that's happening. So yeah. Um, someone said, will you be sticking to the same prep coach this season or will you be training with another one? I actually am not competing this year. Um, well, I haven't decided to compete this year. I don't think I will be. Um, I'm not sure yet, like, what I'm doing with competing. I don't know. Like, I still talk to my coach all the time, but I don't actually know. I actually don't have no idea if I want to compete in the future. It's not written off completely, but I just found, like, so much balance in my life right now. I don't want to ruin it. So, yeah, it's definitely something that's been on my mind. What places would you love to travel and maybe even live? Um, for the longest time, I wanted to live in New York. I just wish it wasn't so expensive. But um, I, yeah, I definitely want to wanted to live in New York for a long time. Even now, I wouldn't mind living there for a short period of time. Um, I, yeah, I pretty much, I really, right now, I really want to go to New York, um, especially around like the holidays time. I really want to go to Las Vegas once I turn 21. Honestly, like all of America, I want to see everywhere in America. That's my main thing that's on my mind right now and has been for like the past year. Um, and then like, honestly, I want to go to Bali, I want to go to Thailand. I'm going to Samoa this year, so that should be really, really good. Um, but honestly, there's so many places I want to go. I'm not like crazy obsessed with going to like Europe or anything right now. Um, which seems to be like a place most people, it's like their dream destination, but I'm not really feeling it right now, to be honest. Like I haven't had that moment of like, oh my God, I really have to go there. But I'm sure once I go to like America or something, I'll probably really want to. Next question is who inspires slash motivates you in life and training in general? Um, a lot of people, honestly, I really like people on my Instagram, um, that are like real and inspirational and guess I'm not into like those fitspo gals um it's not really my thing but the people that are just really real and raw are really what keep me going on Instagram um 
and in like just general real life people at my gym um people at my work like honestly so many people it's I feel like it's inspiration everywhere the next one is how to be confident in yourself when you're not exactly a skinny girl um I feel like it doesn't matter if you're a skinny gal like love yourself like your body is so amazing for how what it is and everyone is beautiful like I don't ever I don't know about other people but I never see someone and think because they're overweight like oh my god yuck like never in my life um honestly seeing a bigger girl like rocket is amazing um yeah so don't think that just because you're not like the skinniest person or whatever that you can't be beautiful and confident because it doesn't make a difference honestly what motivates you to stick to eating healthy and does it get hard sometimes flexible dieting has changed my life like if it fits your macros has changed my life um but in my prep and like kind of before that yeah it got really hard and i would just resort to just like breaking my diet because it was just too much not in prep sorry um but it was hard definitely in prep but when you have that end goal that's so big and important it makes it a bit easier um but no these days it's a lot easier like when you're fitting in foods you actually like um i find it not too bad really tips on how to overcome the fear of people judging you at the gym um that's gonna be the last question for today but honestly like People are judging you at the gym. I know I know exactly how you feel and I felt like that for so long. And even when I was at Good Life, I felt a little bit like that. It wasn't like an environment that you really love. And I think that that's a really big thing. Like right now being at PLC, every single person is treated equally. Like they don't feel silly for not knowing how to do something or um, judged for struggling in the gym or anything. Like never. And I would never look at somebody and be like, and judge them in the gym for not knowing. Like, good, if you're in the gym, it means that you're trying to better yourself, so good on you. Like, and if people are judging you, they're pathetic and probably jealous of you, so. Anyway, guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. If you wanna see any more content like this, make sure you let me know. Give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Um, but apart from that, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.